yeah welcome students let us today go with the new topic of uh, second year bcom semester 3 that is amalgamation of firms this is a third topic or third chapter as per your syllabus okay so let's first try and understand the meaning okay simultaneously also keep jotting this so what do you mean by amalgamation when i say the word amalgamation it means when two or more firms who are having similar business come together and then they do a business together under the name and style of a new firm so in amalgamation what is happening basically students it's a you can say it's a merger. Amalgamation is nothing but merger of business. It's a merger of business of two firms. How many firms? Two, minimum two or more firms. Okay, fine. And what do they do in amalgamation? What is the base that? It should be firms having, doing similar businesses. Okay, so if... The first firm deals with uh, like, you know, uh, making of leather uh, shoes. Then even the second firm should be of similar business making of leather shoes. Okay, right? Yeah. And then uh, they can give a new name to the new firm. Okay. So after amalgamation, what happens when the firm amalgamates with each other? Amalgamating firms lose its existence. What do you mean by the word amalgamating firms? I'll just highlight this. Okay. There is something called as amalgamated firms and there is something called as new firm. So when I say amalgamating firms, I mean I am calling them as old firms. I repeat, whenever the terminology amalgamating firm is used for amalgamation, it means we are talking about old firms. Okay. And then there is something called as new firm. New firm is called the amalgamated firms. So old firms are known as amalgamating firms. And the new firm which is new firm which is formed is known as the amalgamated firms. Okay. So if I say uh, uh, I have two firms. Say my first firm ka naam hai AB. My second firm ka naam hai CD. These two firms are. These two amalgamated. Hai. So what will the new firm be? ABCD. Okay. So this A and this C D, this A B and this C D, they are called as old firms or amalgamating firms. And this new name, A B C D, this will be known as the new firm. Okay. So I hope the concept of amalgamation is clear. Yeah. Now, what are the objectives of amalgamation? Why are you learning this? Because uh, amalgamation avoids cutthroat competition among the firms. If two big firms merge together and do business, then obviously the the concept of uh, what we called uh, competition, okay, yeah, uh, that will eliminate. It will avoid the cutthroat competition among the firms when you amalgamate. Next, to enlarge the size of the firm, if you want to uh expand your firm expand your business then also uh you amalgamate with the other business or other firms then to uh, enjoy the benefits of economies of large scale of production okay so when you uh, have a large scale production there is something called as uh an economies to scale you enjoy the benefits of bulk purchase of raw material okay and to introduce better management practices, okay? When two firms amalgamate, uh, the, the, the good things of both the firms are taken into practice, okay? To increase the productivity and profitability of the firms, obviously, if you amalgamate, if you merge, then the production and the profitability of the firm will increase. And to establish financial stability, okay? To have good financial stability, to uh, survive the cutthroat competition, uh, okay, amalgamation is needed. Okay, so these are the objectives behind doing amalgamation of firms. Okay, now what are the consequences of amalgamation? That when there is amalgamation, the old firm hota hai, uska existence dissolve ho jata hai. Okay, so that's why you can see here dissolution of old firms okay why because the existence of the old firms existence of the old firms has to be diluted 
and then formation of new form. Okay. So based on this, okay, so amalgamation deals with these following problems. First, the revaluation of assets and liabilities. Obviously, when uh, two forms A, B and C, D are amalgamating, सबसे पहले वो अपना assets and liabilities को revalue करेंगे. Okay. Yeah. What is revalued figure? It is the figure which is given in the adjustment. And what is book value? It is the figure which is given in the trial balance or the old balance sheet. Then secondly, once you revalue your assets and liabilities, disposal of our assets and liabilities not taken over by the new firm also comes into picture. Then valuating your valuation of goodwill and how its accounting treatment is passed in amalgamation. Adjustment of capital accounts of partners in their profit sharing ratios and in case of absence of information, determination of the new PSR, profit sharing ratio, and calculation of PC. Okay. This is the first step in the evaluation of assets and liabilities. We have to because we have to determine the PC. Purchase consideration means the price at which we are purchasing the other firm. I repeat, what is PC? The price at which you are purchasing the firm, the new firm. Okay, that is PC. Okay, so say agar CD, CD, AB se merge ho rahe. Okay, AB se merge ho rahe. Right? So we will pass, uh, yeah, AB se merge ho rahe. So C and D is merging. So C and D will give the purchase consideration to AB. Okay, matlab ho, agar C and D AB ko khareed rahe, to usko uska purchase consideration be quote karna padega. Okay? So now let's move on. Yeah. Now these are the accounting entries under uh, yeah. Okay? Uh, methods of accounting. So amalgamation may yeah. It is the realization method and then we will come uh, we will look into the accounting procedures in books of the old firms. Okay, AS14 deals with amalgamation of firms. Okay, which standard student accounting standard 14 deals with account deals with accounting for amalgamation. The journal entries, okay, or the procedure to do amalgamation comes from where? Yeah, it comes from AS14. Very important. Okay, very important. Okay. So now let's see what are the entries in the books of the old firm and the new firm. So under AS14 also, amalgamation has two varieties. It is divided into two parts. Amalgamation in the nature of merger and amalgamation in the nature of purchase. Okay. Now, ye do method uh, kuch nahi hai. In fact, ye jo amalgamation in nature of purchase hai, this is the lump sum amount that you will be uh, yeah, the lumps in amount at which the PC will at which the PC is decided. So there are two methods of accounting for amalgamations. So there are two methods called as the pooling of interest method. Okay, I repeat, it is known as the pooling of interest method. So these are the methods of accounting under the realization method of AS14, which deals with accounting procedure in the books of the old firms. Okay, so what are you doing? AS14 classifies amalgamation in two parts. Amalgamation by nature of merger. Okay, sorry. Amalgamation in the form of merger and amalgamation in the nature of purchase. Okay, so there are two methods. One is the pooling of interest method and the other is the purchase method. Okay, so we are not this method. Nahi pad rahe. This for theoretical purpose because this method is applicable when you are merging or you are amalgamating one company with the other company. ये दोनों क्या होना चाहिए company होना चाहिए company one company two. लेकिन अगर मैं आपको ये बोलूँ कि company one okay and company two will yeah yeah both are companies so they yeah, they have to follow which method? Pooling of interest method for calculating amalgamation. But suppose, yes, 
आई मीन ये कंपनी है और सामने वाला फर्म है तो फिर पूलिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मेथड इसमें एप्लीकेबल नहीं होगा पूलिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मेथड अंडर रमाल गेशन इज एप्लीकेबल ओनली 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 वेन देर आर टू कंपनीज दैट आर कमिंग टूगेदर फॉर द मॉनिटर ओके See, it's clearly mentioned. It is confined to amalgamation of companies only. Okay, yeah. Whereas this purchase method, it deals with amalgamation of firms. जो कि मैंने अभी बताया था A A B to C D or C D to A B. Okay, and because of this purchase method, our uh, old firms have has to be first dissolved under the realization method. Okay. so this uh, uh, it involves dissolution of old firms with realization method just this confidence that you have okay that uh, uh, the dissolution of old firms with realization method okay if that doesn't work it involves dissolution of old firms purchase method ki wajah se hi ye old firms wala concept aa raha hai idhar okay yeah see ये सब हम क्यों कर रहे हैं बिकॉज वेन यू डू अमालगमेशन देर आर ओनली टू थिंग्स यू आर या एज आई सेड एन आर डूइंग अमालगमेशन देर आर ओनली टू थिंग्स देर आर टू कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज डिजोल्यूशन ऑफ ओल्ड फॉर्म्स एंड फॉर्मेशन ऑफ न्यू फॉर्म सो दीज टू थिंग्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर बिकॉज अंडर परचेज मेथड एंड पुलिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मेथड दीज थिंग्स आर एप्लीकेबल एनी वेज फॉर योर सिलेबस वी आर नॉट स्टडिंग पुलिंग ऑफ इंटरेस्ट मेथड बिकॉज this method is applicable only when there is amalgamation of two or more companies okay and when there is amalgamation of two or more partnership firms then it is called as then yeah purchase method is applicable okay yeah then comes the accounting in the books of old firms accounting treatments in the books of Old firms, okay. So by the time, just make a note of this, okay. Just make a note of this. We are going to do journal entries under the old firm, okay. okay now let's see okay let's see which journal entries are we supposed to do okay so first is first what are you going to do yeah first you are going to transfer all your assets to realization account at which value at the book value book value means the value given in the Balance sheet. I repeat, book value means values given in the balance sheet. So, okay. So my journal entry is realization account debit to sundry assets. Okay. Now let me make fam uh, you familiar with this. Uh, just have a read over this particular follow up. It is a purchase method which we are applying under amalgamation under your syllabus. It is confined to amalgamation of firms in per in nature of purchase. As I said, there should be two or more partnership firms coming together. Then the purchase method is applicable. In pooling of interest method will be applicable when there is two or more companies coming together. Okay. Then under purchase method, the second point says it involves dissolution of old firms because you are dissolving the existence of the old firms. Okay. Then. the realization method comes into picture okay realization method kyu aata hai picture mein because you are uh, calculating your pc also correct purchase consideration okay so what i had earlier discussed ye wala point problems to be dealt with revaluation of assets and liabilities because of which we have to make a 
realization income okay then disposal of assets and liabilities not taken over by the new firm valuation of goodwill okay and then adjustments of your capital uh, account in psr then in absence of information to calculate the new psr and then determining of purchase consideration okay so i hope till here it is clear to everyone and now let's again have a glance over this accounting that is journal entries in the books of old firms okay so the first step is you have to transfer all your assets to realization account and all your liabilities also to realization account it is just mere transfer of assets and liabilities okay at which value and book value okay so it's realization to sundry assets and the second one is sundry liabilities to realization okay then comes calculation of purchase consideration so my journal entry is new firms account debit to realization account okay how uh, then this pc we will have to calculate ye pc humko calculate karna padega iske bhi do method hai pc calculate karne ke liye ek hai net asset method aur dusra hai lump sum method okay anyways i'll be coming to that in the later half okay yeah then next comes assets taken over by partners okay so when you are amalgamating the old firms and forming a new firm then there are certain assets which is not taken over by the new firm so it may be taken over by partners so journal entry will become partners capital account debit to realization okay similarly real there can be realization of assets not taken over by the new firm ho sakta hai aapne old assets ko bech diya ho ओके okay? इसके लिए वो न्यू फॉर्म नहीं लेके जा रहा है राइट right? या पार्टनर लेके जा रहा है या तो उसको आपने बेच दिया और पैसे रियलाइज कर लिए उससे ओके सो जर्नल एंट्री बिकम्स कैश बैंक टू रियलाइजेशन रियलाइजेशन मींस यू आर सेलिंग सोल्ड सेल ऑफ एसेट्स नॉट टेकन ओवर बाय द न्यू फॉर्म ओके देन इन केस इफ देयर इज एनी एब्सेंस ऑफ यू नो व्हाट यू कॉल रिकॉर्डिंग द अनरिकॉर्डेड एसेट अगर ऐसा कोई इन्फॉर्मेशन है कि एन एसेट इज अनरिकॉर्डेड देन यू कैन पास दिस जर्नल एंट्री एसेट अकाउंट डेबिट टू पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट ओके सिमिलरली इफ यू आर रियलाइजिंग द सेम अनरिकॉर्डेड एसेट ओके मतलब जो एसेट आपने रिकॉर्ड नहीं किया था उसको आपने बेच भी दिया रियलाइजेशन सो माई जर्नल एंट्री विल बी कैश बैंक टू एसेट अकाउंट सिमिलरली you can even have payments of liabilities not taken over okay so realization account debit to cash back or okay just don't forget this sir uh, payments of liabilities not taken over so realization account debit to cash why because the word payment is used na yeah then recording of an unrecorded liability theek okay? hai partners capital to liability then payment of an unrecorded liability that is liability is account debit to cash bank okay and then liability is assumed by partners any liability yeah assumed by partners means okay any liability which is taken by a partner okay it means that liabilities assumed by the partners means taken by partners so realization account debit to partners capital account okay and then if there is any realization expenses paid because ye jo bhi assets aap realize karte ho this is not a easy process it requires realization expenses also okay so journal entry will be realization account debit to cash bank theek hai तो ये इम्पॉर्टेंट है ये रियलाइजेशन एक्सपेंस किस कनेक्शन में दिस इज इन कनेक्शन टू रियलाइजेशन ऑफ योर एसेट ओके एसेट बेच सपोज यू हैव अपॉइंटेड अ थर्ड पार्टी टू सेल ऑफ योर एसेट्स व्हेन यू आर अमालगमेटिंग टू सेल ऑफ योर योर सेलिंग ऑफ योर एसेट्स यू हैव अपॉइंटेड वन पर्सन से मिस्टर ए एंड ही विल बी सेलिंग योर एसेट्स ही विल बी सेलिंग ऑन योर बिहाफ ओके सो यू हैव टू पे हिम सर्टन अमाउंट सो दैट ही डज द रियलाइजेशन ऑफ योर एसेट्स मतलब एसेट्स जो पड़े हैं उनको वो बेच के पैसा कमा के आपको दे सकता है ओके देन 
when you close the realization account, you will have either profit on realization or loss on realization. And accordingly, these balances will be uh, divided in PSR, profit sharing ratio. Okay. And it will be transferred to partner's capital account. And if they have told you to make a current account, then it can be transferred to current account as well. Okay. Then uh, this these are some of the uh, what you called uh, regular uh, yeah a regular transaction which is in the balance sheet okay accumulated profits and reserves that is PNL account credit balance and general reserve simple आप क्या करोगे इसको partners के बीच में distribute कर दोगे general reserve account debit PNL account debit to partners capital or current account okay similarly loss भी हो सकता है अगर पीएनएल क्रेडिट बैलेंस है तो पीएनएल डेबिट बैलेंस भी हो सकता है राइट सो एक्यूमुलेटेड लॉसेस को भी आपको क्या करना है पार्टनर्स को देना है पार्टनर्स कैपिटल और अगर करंट अकाउंट दिया है तो करंट अकाउंट में जाएगा ओके देन व्हेन यू क्लोज पार्टनर्स करंट अकाउंट देन दैट बैलेंस विल गो टू कैपिटल अकाउंट एंड सेटलमेंट ऑफ पीसी बाय द न्यू फर्म दैट मींस द न्यू फर्म अकाउंट हैज टू टैली Partners capital in new firm divided by new firm if such adjustment is given. Okay. And these are the final adjustments. Partners capital to partners capital in new firm's account. Let's see if any, we come across any such transactions. But remaining above transactions, so you will definitely come across. Okay. Now, accounting procedures to be followed to have journal entries in the new firm. So for this, you will have to remember four steps. First, in the books of new firm, now not old firm. So first it is record purchase of business. Matlab wo total. Okay. Yeah. Record purchase of business. Okay. So assets debit to liabilities to partners capital. Then writing of goodwill if it is एग्रीड अपॉन अगर है तो ठीक नहीं है तो मत करना ठीक है ऑल पार्टनर्स टू गुडविल देन स्टेप टू में यू विल बी एडजस्टिंग योर कैपिटल अकाउंट्स ऑफ ऑल द पार्टनर्स एज पर द पॉलिसी ऑफ द न्यू फॉर्म और एज पर गिवन इन योर ए एस फोर्टीन राइट सो दिस कैन बी आईदर गोइंग इन कैश और करंट अकाउंट और लोन अकाउंट Okay, so when you are adjusting your capital in the new firm, it is always all the partners. Okay, as per your uh, information, whether it is PSR or whether it is new PSR, whatever. Okay, but this capital account balance can either be taken to cash or current account or loan account. Okay, so. Uh, Whenever you're closing your capital account, you will either get a surplus or you will get a deficit. Either this or this you will get. Okay. So if it is surplus, then the difference will go to cash to partners, current to partners home. Okay. Or deficit me kya hoga? Ulta. Yaan jo credit tha, wo either debit ho jayega. Simple as that, right? Deficit or surplus ka आइडिया मैंने आपको दे दिया ओके okay? और फिर फोर्थ स्टेप में आपका न्यू बैलेंस शीट बनेगा ऑफ द न्यू फॉर्म इसलिए मैंने यहाँ लिखा है ड्राफ्ट बैलेंस शीट ऑफ न्यू फॉर्म ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एडजस्टमेंट्स गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन ओके देन दिस इज व्हाट वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट पीसी इट इज अमाउंट अग्रीड टू बी पेड बाय द परचेजिंग फॉर्म टू द वेंडर फॉर्म परचेजिंग फॉर्म मतलब जिसने खरीदा और वेंडर मतलब सेलर होता है एक बंदा बेचेगा तो दूसरा बंदा माल का मेट करेगा ना खरीदना पड़ेगा ओके सो देर आर टू मेथड्स टू कैलकुलेट पीसी अंडर ए एस फोर्टीन वन इज द नेट एसेट मेथड दैट इज एसेट्स माइनस लाइबिलिटी एंड द अदर वन इज लमसम मेथड ओके लमसम मेथड में क्या होता है आप एक फिक्स्ड अमाउंट बोल देते हो फॉर पीसी जैसे मैंने बोल दिया पीसी परचेज कंसिडरेशन इज से एट लैक्स रुपीज Okay, so that amount eight lakhs is nothing but my lump sum amount. Okay, and uh, yeah, please note down this is very important. Any excess of PC uh, purchase consideration 
amount is more than net asset amount, then whatever is the difference, say for example, agar mera PC hai 5 lakhs, or mera, uh, uh, what do you call, net assets hai 4 lakhs. Okay? Ek example de you. Any excess of purchase consideration over net assets. Okay? So, uh, this PC is more na either. Purchase consideration is more than 5 lakh or 4 lakh. Hai. So, jo 1 lakh rupiah hai, okay, that will be treated as goodwill. The difference I am talking about will be treated as goodwill. Okay? Or if it is ulta ho gaya, okay? Jaise net assets ka answer is more and PC ka answer is less. Okay? Net asset is more and PC answer is less. So, say, abhi mein reverse kar so, say this is 6 lakhs, say this is 4 lakhs. So, the difference is 2 lakhs. Difference two lakhs ka aaya. So, this difference is capital reserve. Mein reflect Unka ye meaning tha. Okay, last value note. Ka. Any excess of purchase consideration over net assets taken over is treated as goodwill. And any excess of net assets over purchase consideration is treated as capital reserve. Okay, so I gave you both the examples. Okay. So, this uh, actually clears your theoretical part of amalgamation. So, in the next uh, video, I'll be uploading a sum on amalgamation. Okay. Till then, happy learning.